This is going to be my year to quit. <laughs> I'm Maddie Milan and you're listening to the Goddess Unearthed podcast, where we talk about tapping into your inner power and living life by your own rules. Hello, welcome back to another episode. It has been a minute or a couple of weeks, if I'm being honest. And while I could sit here and give you a whole lot of excuses as to why it's been so many weeks between episodes, I mean, to be fair, we did move houses, new backdrop, this is not my final setup, but it was good enough for today. My mother-in-law and sister-in-law also visited and we had Christmas and this is the busiest time of year for my business. But honestly, more than that, the reason why I haven't sat down to film an episode lately is because this podcast no longer felt fun and it really just did not give me the satisfaction that I thought it would. I originally started this podcast to fill a hole to fill this gap that I had, this longing for the podcast that I wanted to make, which was not going to be me sitting here alone. But I thought if I channeled some of the same ideas and the same energy into creating something by myself, it would kind of fill that need and fulfill that desire that I had for creating a podcast in the first place. And that just was not the case. So today I want to talk a little bit about that. So that's kind of the theme of today's episode is learning when it's time to quit and let go and and also just how to simplify and focus on the things in your life that really matter. It can be really hard for me to let go of an idea or an expectation that I had for something and I am someone who will loyally stick to something probably to a fault. I will just continue doing things long after they long after they fail to feel right anymore. And now I don't know, now heading into the new year, there has never been a better time to just reflect on what things in your life maybe is time to move past. Now, I know it probably sounds like, oh, she's talking about quitting. It's been a couple of weeks since there's been a podcast episode. I'm not necessarily planning to stop recording this podcast completely, but I do plan to to I guess quit the expectation I've put on myself for weekly uploads because when when I can't meet that for whatever reason or when I miss a week or when I just don't feel like recording then I feel like I'm letting people down and then another part of my brain jumps in and you know starts saying well probably nobody even cares they won't even be sad if you don't upload no one will even notice so what's the point and it's this back and forth between feeling guilty for failing on my commitment that I made to myself and then also not feeling like anybody even cared about the commitment in the first place so before I get too deep into the episode today I do want to just make it clear that I plan to probably almost certainly continue doing episodes but only when it feels natural and when I feel like I have something valuable to say. One of my biggest, I guess one of my biggest benefits and strengths is that I have a lot of really good and inspiring ideas but again sometimes it's okay if those ideas don't get acted on. Sometimes, I guess in terms of this podcast, to put it into perspective, I have a list of about 25 different topics that I could talk about. And I've had this list since I first began the podcast, since my very first episode back in September. So these last couple of weeks, it's 
it's not that I didn't have topics that I could choose to talk about. I had planned the holiday topics specifically. I was going to do holiday traditions from around the world or read Reddit stories about um, about nightmare Christmas things or or for the new year, I was going to sit down and talk about my goals, my resolutions, a little recap of the year. I had this planned out for months, but if in the moment it doesn't feel right and I don't feel inspired to talk about that, I don't want to feel like I'm forcing something or or like I'm recording an episode and posting an episode just to fill a quota, fill, fill a time slot, like... I don't want to pump out content just for the sake of it if it doesn't feel right, if it doesn't feel aligned, if it doesn't feel important. And I'm not even saying that these episodes are really that deep or that, I mean, these episodes don't even always give you that much value, I don't think. I mean, I don't know. Let me know in the comments. Do they they provide you with that much value? And if not, do you care? Do you want more value because for me heading into the new year I'm I'm just reassessing which areas of my life I am happy with what areas I am proud of the progress I made and what things I would like to quit or just kind of let go and leave in 2023 I don't have to bring everything into the new year with me so with that being said in the future, if you see an episode come out once a month, I feel like that is probably a reasonable expectation, but I'm not even going to set that as a firm commitment. Maybe it will be more often. Maybe some months I will post four times. Maybe other months there will be no videos, but just remember that unless I make a specific post saying podcast is cancelled forever, It's still an ongoing thing. I'm just taking the focus away from this because it did not fulfill that desire that I hoped it would. And looking at that concept quickly, sometimes we have expectations for things that are unrealistic or impossible, or maybe they are perfectly reasonable expectations, but we just get it wrong. I have for the longest time thought I would love doing a podcast and I do enjoy the process. I like sitting down. I like talking. I've always liked talking to a camera and just like sharing my thoughts. But sometimes I overthink it and this whole solo podcast concept and the goddess on earth where I help you to unlock the goddess within and like be your higher self and level up your energy that was not really what I wanted originally. I wanted to make a podcast with my bestie. I wanted us to get together once a week to go get coffee and sit drinking our ice lattes while we just chatted about either spiritual things or just other random topics and there'd be back and forth and I wouldn't be the one editing the episodes. I would just be like doing the social media and I had this really fun concept planned and a lot of it relied on the fact that there was going to be a co-host. There was going to be a social aspect to podcasting that doesn't exist right now. And again, of course, I could have found a different co-host, but it just wouldn't have been the same. And I'm glad I gave this a try. I'm glad that I sat down and put in the effort to try this on my own even though it wasn't necessarily what I had planned and in the end it didn't fulfill that desire that I had for that original podcast it it didn't fully meet that need and meet that satisfaction but I just know that if I had never tried to do this that I it would be a lot harder to move on I would still be in the back of my mind thinking oh how sad that this podcast didn't work out. I miss my friend. I We had all these plans. We had all these goals. I had all these exciting ideas to talk about and these thoughts I wanted to share. And I know that I would be really ruminating on that for a long time. And just, it would have been a lot harder 
for me to move on, put this in the past, if I didn't give a podcast a try. So I'm proud of my efforts. I'm proud of giving it a go. But I've come to realize that I prefer visual media. I prefer making YouTube videos and doing aesthetic edits. And I like to do my makeup and my hair and put on a cute outfit. So whether I continue doing these podcasts long term or not, I am going to be moving back towards content creation, video content creation in the new year. That is one of my biggest goals. I'm really excited and looking at it with a fresh a fresh perspective, a fresh, I don't know, mindset. And I'm excited to make YouTube videos again. I don't know how often I'm going to post on this channel on Maddie Luca or Maddie Luca Milan. But here I want to maybe post sewing tutorials, potentially monthly, maybe every two months i again i don't know how much i can commit to that because i am going to be focusing on my other youtube account which originally started as a vlog channel but has now kind of turned into a like traveling expat diaries kind of a vibe maddie and ali i will link it down below if you want to go check it out whether you're listening to this on spotify or if you are a youtube listener i will have it in the description box or the show notes whichever replies I'm going to be posting there. Again, I am hesitant to commit to a firm number, but absolutely once a month with a full long video, but I want to post at least once a week, a short, a little video, a one minute or less video, minimum weekly, if not more like daily. So that is my goal going into the new year is just to focus more on content creation and I feel good about making this call now because in the past I have set goals of I want to post every week here I want to post daily on TikTok or I want to get my Instagram to 10,000 20,000 whatever thousand subscribers followers I've made so many goals like that in the past but now that I have tried different things I've tried I've tried having a brand social media. I've tried owning a small business. I've tried teaching English classes. I've tried different areas of making money and of of working and of living. And I've realized what I want and what I enjoy most. and, And what I really want is to move move back towards my original goal from like five years ago, which is influencing content creation, fashion content, lifestyle content. That is the goal. And I am going to be going into a bit of a rebrand over the next couple of days. I'm recording this on the 28th of November. It's a Thursday. I don't have any English classes today. Thank God. I also have no, no sewing projects to do. I did get a request for a custom order for New Year's, but she only asked me like on Christmas Day. So that would have been only a week to create it, plus the fact that it's the holiday time. So a lot of the stores aren't open and I just, I don't want to spend the last couple days of the year stressing and working. I want to spend this time planning and imagining and being inspired for what is to come. So how am I possibly going to post daily on TikTok, YouTube, Instagram and make that work? Because I've made promises like that to myself in the past and always failed. It's okay to fail, by the way. It's okay to fail. It's okay to quit on your promises to yourself within reason. But if it's something that you truly want and you've wanted for years and you keep coming back to the same goal, why not really sit down now, heading into 2024? By the time you're listening to this, it'll already be the 31st or you'll be listening in the early days of January, but that's okay. You can start, even if you're listening to this in June, you can still start now and think, okay, what is that one goal that I have had for years that I keep 
you know, quote, trying, but never really fully committing to? And what is holding me back from that? Because my excuse in the past was always that I didn't have time. And that's one thing I, I guess I was excited about and expected wrongly about this podcast is that it would take me less time because there's less editing involved. It would just be about cutting out any pauses or if I made mistakes, cutting that out, syncing up the audio in the video and uploading it. It does actually take a lot more time than that. It takes a couple of hours to edit each episode, even if I don't make too many mistakes because I repeat myself a little bit. And this is the second time I'm recording this episode today, which happens almost every episode. I'm sure if I sat down and planned my episodes before I started, Maybe that would help, but sometimes it doesn't because then I'm sitting there looking at my notes instead of being in the moment with the camera and the microphone. But the point of that tangent was that the podcast takes more time than I thought and it doesn't give me the same satisfaction when I upload it as a YouTube video does. So stepping away from podcasting and again, removing that commitment, that pressure that I put on myself, which was going to be minimum a couple of hours every single week to sit down, set up, record, edit, publish, make sure the links are correct, blah, blah, blah. That takes a couple of hours. But I also want to not necessarily quit, but severely cut back on my English classes. That is a main way that I make money currently is giving English classes online on Preply. I actually quite enjoy it. I, I like talking to new people. I find it fulfilling and it's quite easy for the amount of money that I can make doing it. It can be draining, of course, like especially if you have back-to-back classes or if I did a full day of like eight different English classes in a row, that would be exhausting. But when I just have a couple spread out through the week or even just two classes a day, I feel like that's totally fine. And I'm going to keep my profile active and my current students who I already have, I'm happy to keep speaking to them and making a bit of extra money, even if it's just like a hundred or 200 extra dollars a week. Excellent. That goes quite a long way living here in Uruguay, especially in our new smaller, cheaper house. But, but I want to focus less on that and focus more on passive income, more on content creation more on creating content that is a good mix of what my viewers want to see and of what I want to be posting because to give you an example for my um, for my Instagram account Maddie Milan or my personal TikTok account I'm actually going to be changing the name so just head to the description box or the show notes and all the updated links will be there Again, doing a bit of a rebrand, I'm trying to make things a bit more clear and a bit more succinct as to what types of content gets posted where, because I do have two Instagram accounts, two TikTok accounts, three YouTube accounts. So it's like, okay, I want to make it clear to my audience and also to my own brain, what type of content is going where and what can people expect. The second TikTok and the second Instagram are or were dedicated to my small business, my Midnight Margaritas clothing label. I am wearing a top that I made currently. It was actually my Christmas outfit. We went to a Christmas festival. But those uh, those content accounts were specifically supposed to be like a business account to sell products. But I'm going to transition that to be a little bit more fashion related more styling videos, more sewing tutorials to teach people how to sew. Because just like with the English classes, I like, I actually love sewing. I love making custom designer things for clients. But I don't think I necessarily want to open a store anymore. I don't think I want to sell 25 of the same dress every month. I don't want to mass produce things. I don't want to 
to go down that road of fashion designing anymore i think i would rather teach people how to create their own garments and show more of my process and show my day in the life and when i do have clients i think i would rather do more like custom pieces more personalized orders for graduations or birthdays or like bachelorette weekends little festival outfits like things like that are more fun to me and I want to lean more towards that and then also potentially open up the possibility with those accounts to start working with other brands whether that's just accessories and shoes to start with that I style with my own garments and then in the future just transitioning that page to be a fashion page rather than a this is my brand come by from me it'll just be a styling maddie milan style kind of a vibe that's my goal there whereas on my personal account i don't even know what it is currently it's kind of just like a personal blog where i just post literally whatever i'm doing in that moment whatever i'm fixated on at the time Sometimes it'll be outfit of the days and then other times I'm posting my workouts or my travel plans and I think it's just like that's fine if you're just using Instagram for fun but it's not exactly going to help me solidify a personal brand and start gaining followers and gaining brand deals and things like that. So I want to transition that account away from the fashion because I'm going to push that onto my other page and transition it to be more of a lifestyle blogger kind of a vibe like where I post my morning routine I post the sunset down at the beach I share life with my my pets or I continue to post content about being an expat being a foreigner living in Uruguay because not only is that interesting to people it's kind of more relevant to the lifestyle space than it is to fashion and I feel like those two kind of vibes just are clashing and it's too confusing so now that I have a plan it should be easier to make content because I'm going to have regular like recurring segments for my Instagrams or my my TikToks like oh every Sunday I'm going to have a DIY video or every Monday I'm going to do a grocery haul things like that that are just going to be recurring so it's I'm not going to have to think about what to film and what to upload that day. I can just sit down, smash something out in like five or 10 minutes and upload it immediately without getting too muddled up in my brain. I tend to overthink things, but I do think that if I cut out the things in my life that are just, that I'm not passionate about, that aren't bringing me joy anymore, like like taking on new English students or stressing about my small business or goals of wanting to share nutrition facts again and use my degree like if I can get rid of those ideas or or another example could be like thoughts of wanting to read books because reading is great for you which I know is a fact but I am not going to sit here and beat myself up or be upset about the fact that I don't have time to read or that I'm not making it a priority because being upset about it doesn't actually help the situation. Instead, I'm just going to use that time before bed to journal. Maybe I will post about the fact that I'm journaling. Maybe I won't, but just being able to take a step back from my own life and look at every single area whether that's friendships relationships okay what about this is working and what is not do I want to keep working on this friendship or do I want to take a step back from it those are all valid feelings and as someone who again has over committed like I took ballet lessons for I don't know 16 years of my life when I probably could have given up after 10 but I I just felt like that was who I was that was my personality I was a dancer I why would I quit when I spent I've invested so much time in this I think it's that's like one of those fallacies like the time sunk fallacy of like okay if I've spent x amount of years of my life identifying as being a ballet dancer what what happens who am I if I quit that 
it would be easier to just continue doing that forever, even though it no longer brings me joy, than it would be to quit. And I don't want to live my life like that anymore. So there are other areas of my life that I am going to take a step back from so that I can focus on this goal. I also want to travel more and get back into more fitnessy stuff. But again, I feel like all of that aligns with who I truly am and it's also going to be easy to incorporate into my personal brand and again it's not all about like how it looks from the outside but but because one of my biggest goals is to grow my social media and my my influence here and to make this a legitimate business instead of just like a fun little hobby I do if no when when I solidify this career that I want for myself I will be able to make money doing the things that I love and then I will be able to fully fully quit any other side hustles that I don't really care about anything that I was doing just for the money will be able to fall away because I will have because I would have because I would have put the time and effort into the areas of my life that I want to be that I want to sustain long term. Now I'm hoping this has made a bit of sense but I guess for anyone who's not into content creation or who's not doesn't have anything work or hobby related another example of an area of your life that it might be time to to leave behind to leave in 2023 and not bring into 2024 with you could be if you were a big partier whether it's smoking or drinking or any other kind of substances, which again, I'm not opposed to. But if that's a part of your life or a part of your your current life or a part of your past that no longer feels right and no longer aligns with the kind of future you want, maybe that is something that it's time to quit. For me, I actually have been really enjoying my party girl era. And for the amount of times for the, for the frequency that I have been going clubbing and going partying, I have actually been doing it very responsibly, much more so than I ever did in Australia. I do not drink as much here. I do not like get as, I don't get as drunk. I, I dance more. I have more fun. I, I'm out for longer, but I actually end up feeling better the next day because I am partying like, I don't know, like less alcohol. I think that's an Australian thing is just to, it's this, um, this binge drinking, like we take it a little bit too far and feel like you, you can't go to the club if you haven't had like 10 standard drinks beforehand. So here that's really not the case. And I am actually one of the ones in the friend group who drinks the most. And yet I still feel like I'm like a six out of 10 drunk. Like I feel totally lucid and good about all my decisions. And I, so I I just put that in there to show that for me, I actually really like partying and I'm not planning to quit that anytime soon. I like going out with my friends, but if you personally have a different relationship with alcohol or with party drugs or with clubs in general, or with your friendship group, then maybe it's time to either say something about it or make a change in your actions and distance yourself from the things that no longer feel, no longer are making you feel good. Now, I feel like I started off really strong with this episode and then I got kind of lost in the middle there. So I just wanted to end off today by talking about a couple of my other goals for the year, not work, not content related. One of them being I want to put more of an effort into really maintaining I guess is a good word maintaining my long distance friends because again I've been actually doing really well with my my current local friends at seeing them regularly making plans and I want to continue that going forward maybe doing more things in the daytime like more more coffee dates making some friends who enjoy taking pictures together so that I can find someone to go do that with on a weekday that would be great if I had a friend who also also had a flexible job like me and didn't work full-time but it's my long-distance friends that I struggle with I'm really good when it comes to 
keeping in contact with my family because we have a regular like weekly meeting scheduled almost every Wednesday morning at 7 30 in the morning I know I can expect a phone call a group chat with my family and I very rarely miss those like I've maybe missed two this whole year but with my friends it's a lot easier to be like oh yeah we should we should schedule a FaceTime soon like when are you free and then three weeks later we still haven't done anything about it so I want to get better at that at just making more like fixed plans and sticking to them and I know maybe that might feel like it takes a bit of the fun away but I need that kind of like strict um scheduling almost it was the same when I was learning Spanish and that is another goal of mine is to take my Spanish to the next level I'm finally feeling good about my Spanish but I want to feel even better and actually feel like I can be smart in Spanish not just be like understood I want to feel more fluent but when I when I had when I was doing regular lessons I would buy a pack of six hours for classes but then I could schedule them whenever I wanted or there was the option to schedule weekly lessons at the exact same time on the same day same time every week when I did that excellent I very rarely rescheduled I very rarely missed the classes but if I just told myself oh yeah like I'll book these when I have the time then three weeks will go by and I won't have booked a single class so I really rely on that kind of strict structure potentially because the rest of my life is so not chaotic but kind of a bit more free and flowing and I have less structure in my every day so having these kind of social events these or these learning things that I require another person for having those firmly in a calendar in a in a agenda makes it a lot harder for me to cancel also because I feel the pressure then to to keep it up like if I commit to going to a class or I commit to being somewhere at a certain time I'm very unlikely to bail on it But if I just tell myself, oh, this week I want to do two classes and I want to read for an hour. If it's not specifically scheduled into my planner, I'm probably not going to do it and I'm not going to feel bad about it. So I have learned that about myself and I'm now working that into my goals and my planning for the future. So I can avoid making those same mistakes from my past into my future. Another goal is traveling more both locally and internationally. So this one actually affects a lot of things because Alejandro's been looking at new jobs, but we're really looking for something that's either flexible or can be done from home. And I think for now, hopefully, I think he's settled on just really committing to helping out with the video creation. And just, again, if we just throw ourselves into this for the first couple of months I think we are at a really good place where we could make some serious money just doing content and then you know additionally both of us will keep teaching English classes online as like a backup money but instead of getting a fixed local job putting our intention into something that's a bit more flexible and that aligns with our lifestyle better because if he got a quote real Uruguayan job there goes our travel plans then we have to wait for his boss to give him the time off like we can't just go away for the weekend when we want to we can't just take our van I want to put a bed in the back of our van that's another mini goal so that we can go down to the beach and right now for the new year almost every Uruguayan who can will be down in Punta del Este which is like the nicest beach town a couple hours away from here it's only about two hours from where we currently live but we couldn't go down for New Year's or for Christmas because we had no accommodation. But if we just had the bed in the back of the van, we could just drive down one day, go to the beach that day, spend the night in the spend the night in the back of the van, and then drive home the next day. Easy peasy. I'm I mean I'm not gonna live in the van for like two weeks or anything, but for one night here or there, I think it would just open up a lot of possibilities for us. But again, if we if we committed to a quote real job and to 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 be on someone else's schedule 
and then having to travel to and from work every day, blah, blah, blah. That would really interfere with us wanting to go to Europe this year or wanting to travel around Uruguay and work with local hotels. And sometimes you have to look at the bigger picture instead of just looking at, oh, we want more money, how to get more money, we need a job. That's great, except that what we really want is a flexible job. We want we want to be able to live a good, fun, casual, kind of carefree life while we still can. Because in a year or two, when we're back in Australia and we're starting a family, that will be the time for more strict strict time frames and potentially a more serious job who knows maybe content creation will have taken off by a lot then maybe we'll be making thousands of dollars a week through content creation by then who knows anything is possible but just trying to focus on how to make today this week this year the best possible and i don't think a job and the effects that it's going to have on his mental health is worth it I think I'm just going to end it there because again I've been talking for 40 minutes almost rambling a little bit I'm going to end this episode here but mental health is something I really have been wanting to talk about for a while so if I do continue doing these episodes that will for sure be one of my future topics There are some things that I really want to say, but I need to ask other people in my life who they kind of involve, what they're comfortable with me sharing and what they're not. But I don't know. I just think that they are important topics. And the more more we talk about it, the easier it can be for the next generation. So anyway, enough talking, enough rambling. Sorry for the delay. Thank you for listening. If you've made it all the way to the end, please comment below what one of your resolutions is and tell me what your thoughts on this podcast is. Please, I would love to know. Do you like longer episodes? Would you prefer if they were more like 20 minutes? That's a little bit less pressure, but I kind of need to just be a bit more to the point with my conversations. What kind of topics would you want to see? Do you get sad if I miss a week or are you more than happy with just having an episode once a month what is the vibe what do you want what would you ideally like I will at the end of the day still go with what feels right to me but I am just curious as to what my listeners are looking for what you are hoping for what your ideal would be so thank you for listening or thank you for watching All links to my social medias will be down below. If you're not currently following my personal Instagram or TikTok, please go ahead and give them a follow. I would really appreciate it. Help me make my my 2024 dreams come true. Happy New Year and talk soon. Hasta la próxima. Ciao.